Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's your host, Le Street Urchin here. And it's Saturday, so you know what that means. It's time for another video teaching you all about MBTI. I don't know why I didn't make this video sooner. It didn't occur to me that maybe the most useful information I can give to you wasn't how to spot extroverted feeling, how to spot extroverted thinking, introverted thing, whatever. It turns out that what I probably should have done was actually teach everyone how to spot introverted feeling in their day to day. I know, I, I was, uh, I, I just assumed that it was self explanatory. It's a total fabrication. As you're navigating the world of MBTI, you are undoubtedly going to come across at about 80% introverted feeling. So maybe it would be best for you to know exactly, you know, what you're looking for. So when you're talking to an introverted feeler, that means the top four in preference, they focus on personal values, morals, ethics, etc. When you ask them questions, they prefer to answer with, I feel, more often than not, because that is the truth. They feel for what the right answer is, which of course we can break down what we all think feeling is, but they're also rather opinionated. They don't necessarily want to have a logical discussion about world-ending problems. They want to just let you know how they feel about a subject. It's a lack of rationalization. Some of you probably noticed that the world is a bit more opinion-based these days. And of course, if you're traveling the MBTI circles, that's practically all anyone has. <laughs> it's quite terrifying. The best way I've found to trigger an FI user, bring up a controversial topic. Will they give you logical answers, or will they tell you what they believe in? Ta-da! For lead introverted feeling, they live their life through what their heart dictates. You know, some of us still have one. It's not that they can't be logical, but you're really pulling them out of their comfort zone to do it. And for you introverted thinkers, you better just get used to it because those numbers are going way up. This doesn't mean that other personalities don't stand for anything, but if they are going to, you know, die on that hill, it's going to be about something they logically came to a conclusion with. These days, you'll often find strong preferenced introverted feelers to be on board with some political agenda. Insert hashtag here. They will all have a very strong opinion about it. They're most likely not going to be able to bring up numbers, statistics, census data, CDC reports. To them, if it sounds bad, they are against it. If it sounds good, then it gets plastered all over their Facebook page. And no, you can't just vomit introverted thinking at them and hope that they're going to change their mind. I tried. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Introverted feelers are typically the most difficult people to try and sway. You'll need a ton of reputable sources that they agree with. You're going to have to surround them with other people that think a different way. And you're probably going to have to catch them when they're at their absolute happiest. The farther an idea strays from their initial feelings, the more impossible it becomes. And coincidentally, I have yet to meet an introverted feeler that wasn't emotional. Not all bad, though. You can often find them being in some kind of mood, happy or sad, and it is difficult for them to compartmentalize between how they feel about something and a, a logical cold calculation. As the good book says, introverted feeling seeks harmony of action and thought with personal values. So the stronger the introverted feeling, the less likely they're going to understand why Old Yeller had to be put down, why there's so many starving people in the world, why we have due process, why cheesecake is bad for you. So if you come across someone that likes to inject their personal opinion into things, tell you whether they like or dislike a particular topic, or kind of flies off the handle when you bring up a political subject, you're likely dealing with someone that has a preference for introverted feeling. It doesn't mean they can't be logical, it just means they have a difficult time separating their feelings from the calculation. And if you want to change their mind on something, then you're really going to need some godlike patience. Anyways, those were some quick tips on spotting introverted feeling in your day-to-day -day life. If you'd like to dive in headfirst into an introverted feeling area, MBTI Facebook groups still exist. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Discord is always available if you feel like chatting it up. As always, I've got more practical MBTI stuff on the way, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!